In a matter of hours, family and friends will gather to say their final goodbyes to the man whose death sparked anger, protests, and a national conversation about race relations and policing. A funeral service will be held today in Houston for George Floyd. It comes after thousands turned out for a public vigil yesterday. Ezzie Castro joins us now, and Ezzie, the former police officer accused in Floyd's death, appeared in court yesterday. That's right, Bridget. Derek Chauvin's bail was set at $1.25 million. He's accused of second-degree murder. Meanwhile, thousands waited in line yesterday in Texas to say their final goodbye to George Floyd ahead of his formal funeral later today. Long lines of mourners showing up to a public viewing in Houston for George Floyd. Today, Floyd will be buried next to his mother more than two weeks after dying in police custody. His death sparking demonstrations worldwide. It moved me to my, the core of my soul that he called for his mother in the street like a dog and his mother was already gone. Floyd's family met with former Vice President Joe Biden and Texas Governor Greg Abbott during the memorial. Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner is set to speak at Floyd's funeral today. He says Floyd's family remain in good spirits. What they want is justice for George. And they want, they want the protests, they want the reforms, but they want things to be done in a very respectful and peaceful fashion. An incredible family. The officer accused of Floyd's death, Derek Chauvin, appeared in court yesterday for the first time since being charged with second-degree murder and manslaughter. The three other Minneapolis officers also charged in Floyd's death are expected in court at the end of the month. George Floyd's funeral service is scheduled to begin at noon today and last approximately an hour and a half. We'll have a live stream of his funeral on ClickOrlando.com. Justin. Ezzy, thank you. Meantime, everyone from local leaders all the way up to the president are now speaking out against the growing calls by some to defund police departments nationwide. They won't be defunding. They won't be uh, dismantling of our police. And... Uh, they're not going to be any disbanding of our police. Police presence is important. I couldn't think of going a day without having our police officers in our neighborhoods. Some protesters have been calling on leaders in major cities to take funding away from police and give that money to other agencies. In fact, the city council in Minneapolis is already moving forward with that idea. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio has also said he will move funding from the NYPD to youth initiatives and social services, but did not give any other details.